Hi everyone, welcome and thank you very much for joining me in this video. We're going to do an IPO review together because I actually, I put the slides together but I didn't even look at the numbers. I just was putting this, as I was putting the information, I didn't even bother looking at it, what the numbers are, the financial data, which is actually good to be honest because we'll do it, you know, live, let's say, sort of. All right, so as I go along, I'll decide whether I like this IPO or not. Right? So that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so CCSG Technology International Holdings is the company. They filed for a $12 million IPO, and the company designs and manufactures electronics interconnected products. Before I go on any further, guys, long-term investing in great companies is the best, is the best. It might not be super explosive at all, um, but you know, when you chase those explosive things, you end up losing money in my opinion. But yeah, so check this out in 2023 on my discord. I had said that NASDAQ ticket symbol NDAQ for me was a buy at $51 and 33 cents, which I had pre-announced to everybody in the discord, meaning I told them before I would even buy it that, Hey, you guys, I want to buy NDAQ at 5133, right? So I did buy it at 5133 and I've been holding it since guys, I am still holding it. I'm so happy. It's at 5646 today, today in 2024, right? Just, you know, uh, not long ago. Um, and yeah, sure. It's not explosive, but Hey, I'm not losing money. I'm actually making money and and um, I'm actually making more than I would have uh, if I had my cash in the bank or something like that. And um, yeah, so that's, I think it's pretty cool. So that's just an example of picking great companies and holding on to them. You end up, uh, you know, a year later anyways, you're still going to be trading on the market, guys. I mean, you're still going to be around one year later, two years later. So if you look back, you're going to say, you know, I made so many mistakes. I wish I could go back in time. Pick great stocks so you don't have to say to yourself in the future that I wish I could go back in time. Um, another stock in 2023 that was on October 16, 2000. So it's not long ago at all, guys. It was just on October this year, you know, of, of 23. Um, Samurai guys, seven dollars ninety-seven cents. I told them that I will buy it, and I bought it in pre-market seven ninety-seven. Like again, again, like I said, my Discord members know ahead of time. I always tell them what stock I'm gonna buy it, at what price. So I, you know, that's the best thing you can do. You know, it's it's. I think it's a lot of people do it. Um, a lot of people, what they do is they tell people they don't tell prices which I think is so stupid. All they say is, you know, watch out for this. This might be great. This might do this, which is totally stupid. That means nothing. So I tell people prices of what price I will buy. And Samrush right now, guys, is at 1226. That's pretty cool. All right, so going back to the IPO. So the company is based in Hong Kong and uh, it is CCSC Technology International Holdings. It was created to sell interconnected products to a diversified customer base in more than 25 countries globally. They sell their products for industrial use, for robotics, automotive, computers, medical equipment, telecommunications, networking. Management is headed by Mr. Chi Sing Xu, who has been with the company since the beginning. And this company has received so far $2 million in investments from Sky Interconnect Global Limited. The total revenue for the company in 2021 was $22.6 million. Then it went up to $27 million. And so that's actually a nice growth. The gross profit loss went from 7 million to 7.4 million and the gross margins on an average of about 27%. Operating profit loss went from 2.4 to basically the same thing, 2.4 million. Comprehensive income loss goes from 2.6 to 2.6. And the cash flow from operations, 2.2 to 2.9 million dollars. The company has 7.7 .7 million dollars in total liabilities. They have 5.9 million dollars in cash and their free cash flow is positive 2.8 million dollars. So this IPO is expected to go public on January 18, 2024. And uh, it's gonna, you're out, you actually you're able to pre-order this if you want to at four to six bucks it's going to be 1.2 million shares reviewer securities is the underwriter i'm going to stay neutral now typically four to six bucks interconnected devices um you know uh, a china ipo 1.2 million shares usually that's a good uh, formula for a good pre-order to sell on day one on the first pop and you know it might do that actually all right i i, I it probably will but you know, so far, guys, the pre IPOs, all of 2023 and all of this year uh, so far in 2024, everything has just been horrible. Most of them, most of them, just a complete disaster. So, because of that reason, I'm going to stay out of it. I wish you guys all the best and take care.